Oh my god. What are those? No, 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 stop! 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 What am I doing? Video games used to be so fun. And now they're just draining. I think the last game I actually had fun playing is Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Switch. But I never got the chance to finish it. But I want to. And I want to figure out a way to reignite my love for gaming as a whole. And I think I know how to. Strange Game 1, Shower With Your Dad Simulator 2015. I guarantee you have never seen a game like this in your life. This game has a few modes with each one being weirder than the last. Starting off with Enduro Dad. Once you choose your character, you have to sprint across the wet shower tiles to find your father, while avoiding wet signs, puddles, and of course, the other men. No! But the game gets harder with the Dadathlon mode, because now every time when you find your dad, you switch to a different character, making it ever so easy to run into the wrong father. You can't do this to me! And as weird as those modes are, they are nothing compared to the Dad Divisions mode, where multiple showering men are falling from the sky, and you have to- Okay. We're just kinda grabbing dongs here, look. I'm grabbing straight at his dong. That game was fun for a bit, but it was nothing that lit the fire inside of me like Minecraft on the Xbox 360 did. And I'm sorry. I am truthfully sorry. Because, yeah, Shower With Your Dad Simulator was very weird, but unfortunately for you, the games are only going to get weirder. Especially this next one. Strange Game 2, Hylix. This is a strange masterpiece of a game. With a crazy art style, unfathomable character designs, and an unconventional story. Which I won't talk about because I don't want to spoil it. But I will tell you how I went through the game. And how I was forced to fight in an excruciating war. I first spawned in my house. <laughs> then I laughed at how I walked for a bit. And then sat down to watch some TV. Confused, I went outside to explore, and ended up at a bustling city with some interesting characters to talk to. None of them made any sense, until I talked to one guy that told me about some cone cultists at the top of the mountain. So I ventured up this mysterious mountain and confirmed what the guy was saying. There were cone people everywhere, later known as the coners, the beings who were my enemies in the upcoming war. Because even though I just got there, they wanted me out, and exterminated me, and so I returned, looking for peace with the Coners. But they wanted none of it. That was my last straw. I returned, and searched around frantically for anything that could make me stronger, and kill all the Coners. And I found a suspicious looking television running around, so I watched it. And with flashbacks of the television in my house, I realized that they weren't there to confuse me but to make me stronger. The television taught me a move that could harm the Coners, but I couldn't take them all by myself. But luckily, I made a friend who would help me fight in this war. And so one by one, we took the Coners down. They needed to pay for everything they put me through. So we fought, killed, and got stronger over and over and over again until the Coners were finally gone! And I could finally celebrate! I killed all the Cone things for what? Where did that get me? Where did that get me? I just killed all the- I spent so long trying to level up and kill all of them. And nothing even happened in the game. Nothing. Whew. That was a lot, wasn't it? And it gave me something I was missing. A crazy story. But something still wasn't right. I had gotten a nice story in good structure in Hylix. But overall, it was just another RPG game. 
So I needed something weirder that had a new style and was completely original. And I got all of that from the last game, which wasn't really even a game. Strange Game 3, Plug and Play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weirdest game of the century. But it's not a game, it's an interactive movie. And you start by touching tips with another individual. Which leads to this plug man running around with no direction. He eventually runs into nothing, and another plug guy comes out and runs off the screen. Then you unplug a cord, re-plug it, then click a button which makes the screen white and the plug guy walk over towards some other plug guys. Then they start touching each other. Pause. Until this screen pops up, which leads us back to the guys touching each other. Pause. And eventually they start to hit each other over. Another plug and another button spawns the plug guy in again, but alone. Then he decides to suck his prongs in and- No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I know what you're gonna do. What's that? What's that coming out? He then puts them back in and walks away. Until he finds a woman. They have some awkward conversations at first. But they keep seeing each other. And eventually... I love you. I don't think I love you. Are you sure? I think you don't love me. I know I love you. I'm not sure. I do love you. I don't. It hurts. I'm leaving. But the woman couldn't deny her feelings in the end. And they finally... Uh... Connect? And then they connect again? Through the rear? And then again? What's going on? What is happening? Why are we mixing and matching the plugs? Where are these hands coming from? Why did I rip that guy's finger off? What was this all for? The finger is erect. Uh, Thomas? Are you there? You're supposed to talk about the final game. Hello? He's not here. Thomas? Where are you? Where did he go? Come back, Thomas! You're supposed to end the video! Hello? Thomas? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Subscribe.